uh, Flurry, could you back up just a wee bit? Your, um, assets are blocking my face from the camera. How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Let's get into it. All right, well, I guess the best place to start looking would be this giant building here. Oh, hey, it's that mouse thief again. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Oh, is that all they have to say? Yep, okay, <laughs> okay. I guess, I guess she's just here on vacation. Oh my. That toad's really dolled up. I gotta say, I do like that about this game a lot. They really, they really take the concept of like these very simply designed characters and really like change them up a lot. Like I've seen at least like seven different versions of a babam, for example. <laughs> okay, I guess we found the main arena. Oh dear me, what a positively glorious venue. Oh mercy, Mario, look there. Those two brutes are about to have at each other. That's right! Ugh. I think it's about time for you to feel the rock! Oh! Oof! Stay down, pincushion! You don't want more of this! Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy? Stay out of the ring, or feel the burn, baby! Tell you what, do about a million push-ups, and then come see Uncle Rockhawk! I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Hooey, champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me! Bring it! I'll take on anyone! You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah! Number one, baby! Rock Hawk is the champ! <laughs> I really gotta make sure I pronounce that space in Rock Hawk, cause saying that quickly... Sounds like something else. <laughs> Aha! Okay, so there's the crystal star. I guess we gotta become, uh, I guess we gotta become champions of the arena to get that one. Oh my word! Mario! On that uncouth bird's belt, is that a crystal star? Yes, I do believe it is. That wonderful sparkle is yet another crystal star. But such a tawdry place to find it. Why would it be here of all places? Oh, whatever shall we do? I don't fancy the idea of stealing that fellow's belt. What shall we do, Mario? I guess we just gotta battle our way to the top. Oh, you darling man. I am so happy to hear you say that. I'd expect nothing less. You're ten times the man of anyone here. You'll be champion in no time. Let's move on then, shall we? Our next step is to become official fighters, I imagine. Oh, my heart is positively thumping. Let's find whoever is in charge this minute. Okay, so that just led to the arena. Is there... Oh yeah, there's another door down here. Is this the office of who is in charge, or does this also lead to the arena? This also leads to the arena. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you'd better go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. Mr. Grubber's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Oh, okay, that was easier than I thought. Uh, okay, there's a lot of doors down this hallway. How do I know which one is Mr. Grubber's office? I guess maybe just ask the people standing guard in front of him. What's that? You want to become a fighter, bub? Oh, all right. Go on in. Mr. Grubba's just inside. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I guessed right on my first try. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you are one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Hooey! That do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and a-raring to go. 
I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my tastes, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Okay, so the options are darn skippy or not particularly. <laughs> but I have a feeling not particularly will be like, will make Mr. Grubba here just be like, all right, get the frick out of my office. <laughs> darn skippy. All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup. I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite! Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big, and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on now. Okay, uh, Mr. Grubba, if you don't mind me asking, what's behind that locked door there? Oh my goodness, is that bed just made out of solid wood? That looks like a coffin! Now how you like this pod? Just feast your eyes, go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sat? A deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself, and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Uh, well, maybe wealth. I'm not seeing much of the comfort because, again, wooden bed. <laughs> now, uh, here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, pod. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh hey, one other thing. You gotta sign a itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name here, okay? Okay, so the only options they give me are sign me up or I don't think so. They're not even giving me the option to read the contract. There's probably gonna be some crazy fine print in there that he's gonna screw me over with later, isn't there? <laughs> Well, since I really don't have any other option, sign me up! Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're... Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pod, it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo-wee! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzales. Hoo! Ain't that a beaut? Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes round once a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the great Gonzales. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come here a minute, darling? <laughs> okay, that's one of my favorite designs for a toad so far. <laughs> yes, sir, you wish to see me? Sure did, hun. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. 
There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Oh my g- What the frick? What the frick? What happened to the other locker room? Well, here we are. This is your locker room. Uh, Flurry, could you back up just a wee bit? Your, um, assets are blocking my face from the camera. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick reserve a match. Sounds easy enough. Okay, well, might as well take a quick look at the rankings. You needn't know this now, but your current rank is 20th, the very lowest rank. Oh my goodness, so I'm gonna have to fight 19 people to get to the freaking star. Might as well just hop to it then, shall we? Reserve a match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fists dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pod. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Okay. Oh, okay, well that was quick. I just walked halfway across the room and they came for me. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence, Jolene. Jeez. <laughs> All right, well, my first opponent is just a... Uh... Oh, wow, okay, there's a lot more Goombas than I thought, but it's just Goombas. I... Mario... Mario deals with these guys all the time. <laughs> Squaring off next, folks, are the hoppin' hotheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankerin' for hammerin', the great Gonzalez! The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Uh, let's check in. How do, Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha! Are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now. Just save the time later. Hot diggity dang, fat fans! Here's the great Gonzalez, now striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Whoo! Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, bud. Oh my goodness, okay, that's just, that's just unsportsmanlike. What sort of base cowards attack before the match officially begins? Honestly. Come on, Mario, darling. We shan't lose to lowlifes. Let's teach them a lesson. Ah, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Oh, I'll give you a thank you right here, bub. Now then, I was supposed to appeal at least once, so let's switch so Madame Fleury is up front, and then use her to appeal to the crowd. There we go. All right. What? Who's throwing something? Aha! Get that freaking can out of here and put it in a recycle bin. Freaking litter bug. Now then, do I have... Multi-bounce. Perfect. Let's do this. 
Oh yeah, baby! One move and victory is mine! Heck yeah! <laughs> Only worth one star point. Ugh. The great Gonzalez wins! Tell me, son, what was this first taste of victory like? So I think I'll, uh, I'll give the Goomba Bros a bit more respect than they gave me and say that battle was savage. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whoopin'! This kid's got skills! We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it from him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. All right, cool. I am now rank 19. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters got to play to the crowd. You know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene here will give you your fat money. See ya. Okay, cool. So I am going to get paid between matches. That'll really help because that whole like rigmarole trying to meet Don Pianta really killed the old wallet. <laughs> here is your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Three coin. Okay, I was about to say, is that a single coin? <laughs> But yeah, I'll, I'll take three. I am, I am only just starting out, I guess. The next fight will not be set up until you select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal's screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook. How was your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here's Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, Bomb. As Miss Jolene was saying, you'd better, Bomb, obey Mr. Grubber's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher-ranked foes, Bomb. If you can't clear them, you, Bomb, end up battling a lower-ranked fighter, Bomb. <laughs> You can't climb the bomb ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel, bomb bomb. Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. Not just sometimes, bomb. Advice is always useful, bomb bomb. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Heh, nice to meet ya. I'm not here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Well, I think I have full star power anyway, so that doesn't really matter at the moment. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleftor. Rack, Kleftor no like make friend with mustache. Easy there, Cleft Dog. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so good luck, man. Okay, so he's probably uh, top of the minor league at the moment. Okay, someone, someone got a little pissed off after losing a fight, I would wager. And what the frick, was Wolverine in here? Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 18 in the Glitz Pit, the KP Coopers. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to let your enemy damage you three times, okay? It's just so dang boring when a match is too one-sided. You hear what I'm saying to you? Uh, yeah, I guess after I beat the ever-loving snot out of, the, out of the Goomba Bros, I guess, yeah. That wouldn't be terribly interesting to watch. <laughs> now get in there and kick some behind. Hey, dog. Looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man. To both of us. Okay, never mind. Uh, the Koopa guy is not rank 11. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, so I gotta let them hit me three times. Depending on how many Koopas are there, that should be... Oh yeah, that should be easy enough. Just... I guess I'll just, uh... Wait, would defending count as them hitting me? It's gotta, right? Because they do technically still hit me. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and 
the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Coopers. Mario, darling, are you quite ready? Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were gonna square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle. All right, here we go. Take damage from, okay, okay, so just take damage three times. You know what, I think if I just jump on the uh, first Koopa, that'll flip them on their back. Then those two will attack me, I'll jump on the next Goomba and flip them on their back, and then the last one will attack me, and that's three instances of damage. So yeah, easy enough. So yeah, I'll just do a normal jump on this one. Boop! Boop! There we go, one... Two... There we go, I healed a wee bit. And now... You know what, let's just finish this guy off. Boop! Boop! There we go, perfect. There we go, three instances of damage. Now, I don't have to hold back. Oh, there we go, yeah, I okay, I, I decided to test out because I think it was like, at the last episode, the episode before that, where we met like that one uh, bandit brother who told us about stylish moves and I decided to test it by just tapping A after I uh, landed, and it worked. I did a stylish move. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. Anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Is it gonna be another three, or do I get a little raise? Ooh, I get a little raise, heck yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, now let's take another rest, and then I guess just line up another fight. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 17 in the Glitz Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them their special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice, long battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go a grandstanding. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Spiked Terror Triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets. Mario, darling, are you quite ready? Go ahead and touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get yourselves ready to um, battle! All right, let's see the exact uh, conditions. Don't use special moves. Okay, so I guess that means I just can't use these. That's easy enough. Yeah, I guess I can just go in with the Quake Hammer because after this fight I can just take another rest and get these flower points back immediately, so yeah. Quake Hammer! Yeah! Hmm, okay, I don't think Madame Flurry is going to be very useful in this bout because her only move is a Body Slam, which I imagine will hurt. So I'll have her defend, and actually, you know what, this might be a perfect time. Ow! A perfect time to test out that, uh, soft jump or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, soft stomp. Here we go. Boop! Ow! Okay, it didn't work. It didn't work. What the frick? What does that- what does the soft stomp do? Let's see, if I swap to Koops, would he be able to use his moves against these guys? I mean, he's in his shell, right? He should be fine. Yeah, let's try it. Koops, get out here. Oh dear. Ow! All right, let's just use the Quake Hammer again. he -yah! Oh, there we go, we won, okay. Uh, thanks for showing up anyway, Koops. <laughs> we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! We did it, Mario, wow. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? You just finished beating down some poor fools or what? You looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck, man. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. Huh? Who was that talking? Oh, okay. How many times do I have to tell you that room is absolutely off limits? 
If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? Again, dude? Man, you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Aw, oh, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene can take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? You got a little thing for her? Shut up, K. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. Alrighty then. And yeah, I think we have time for maybe one more fight before we call it. So yeah, I guess the next few episodes are going to be me just fighting my way up the glitz pit ranks. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Rank 16 in the glitz pit. The Dead Bones. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them there special moves. I think the crowd's craving for a nice long battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go a grandstanding. Okay, so same conditions as the last fight. I can do that. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Bone Banging Rockers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Dead Bones. Um, okay, we can do this. We're gonna take the skin off your bones. Get yourselves ready to battle! Uh... How did I kill them again? Did I just jump on them and jump on them again? Like, was it, was it like the same rules as the Koopas? Because it's been a while since I've actually fought Dry Bones. Okay, so yeah, step on them. Oh! Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, I just attack them like normal. Oh yeah, that was the issue. They could like, uh, they could like, rebuild some of their party members. <laughs> Alright, Koops, it's been a while. How about you show us a nice power shell, eh? Yeah! Nice job! There we go! Yeah, a nice long battle. D did I deliver, Mr. Did I deliver, Mr. Grubba? <laughs> we got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! We did it, Mario! Wow! Okay, so yeah, that fight actually went a lot faster than I thought, so maybe we'll squeeze in just one more before cutting the episode. Man, I heard you just knock some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Dog. You're the real deal, man. The realest I ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you lip, you just tell them King K said to back it up. Bizow! Ah! Hurts! Keep quiet! My foot! Oh, you're just fine. Shut up. Apply pressure right there. Apply pressure, what? Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, will ya? Mommy! What is going on right now? Whoa. Sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Apply pressure. That implies that he was losing blood. I guess there are several opponents in this uh, sport that have actual, like, spikes protruding from their body, but my goodness. <laughs> anyway, off to one more fight, I guess, before we cut the episode. <laughs> well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixin' for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 15 in the Glitz Pit, Spike Storm. Did the guy I just hear being taken down the hallway fight Spike Storm by any chance? <laughs> now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Okay, well, I can do that. I think my average turn count so far has been, like, one. And the only time it went higher was when I purposely let my opponent hit me. <laughs> now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Oh, okay, so it's a, it's a Lakitu with a bunch of spinies. 
For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep, a fight to the finish with Spike Storm. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. We're gonna spike bomb you into submission, punks. Get yourselves ready to battle! Okay, I feel like I should take out Lakitu first. So let's uh, quickly just hop on back here. Boop. Oh, I screwed up the quick time event. All right. Would Shell Toss work on a Spiny? Let's find out. Pew! It did not. Okay, I gotta do something else. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, boy. Ref. Ref. Uh, they're, oh, I think they, I think they might have slipped something into my drink. Hey, wait, 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 get out of here with that rock. I may be drugged, but I can still see that. Does me being dizzy affect moves that use flower points as well? Well, one way to find out, here we go. Shablam! It does, okay. I don't know how a literal earthquake misses, but it did. Here, you know what? I got a dizzy dial too. How about I hit you with it, huh? Take this. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that that did not exactly go according to plan. <laughs> not only did I screw up the uh timing for that, it missed. So it was just like eh. All right, let's just use shell toss on this and see what happens. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Ow! Take that! What the frick? What am I supposed to do here? Goombella, get in here. I need some information. That's a spiny. Basically a spike-covered Koopa. Ugh. Looks painful. Max HP is 3, attack is 3, and defense is 3. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to zero. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try using a POW block or some other item. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a rock. That's a rock. Get out of here. Uh, how many turns have I gone through? Because I think... Uh, I think in order to meet the requirements for the fight, I have to end it in this turn. <laughs> Alright, well, since I'm not dizzy anymore... Let's see if the Quake Hammer works as a POW block, because I don't think I have a POW block on me at the moment. <laughs> Yes! Perfect! That worked! Oh, and he just flipped right over again. Okay. Let's do it again. There we go. That's one spiny dealt with. Oh, perfect! That works! <laughs> I'll take it! Did that work? Yes, it worked! Okay, was that within five turns? Please tell me that was within five turns. I think I might have just snuck it in under the wire. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! See? No biggie. Yes! Yes, we did it! Oh my goodness, okay. That was very close. I, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that we were on the fifth turn uh, by the time... Uh, by the time Goombella finished off Lakitu. Hey man, check this out. I heard the hot dog stand outside's getting a new menu item. Yeah, sounds like it's some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool is even saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You ought to snack out on one. Alright, well, let's take a quick nap. And then I guess, uh, clock out for the day to call the episode, and we will continue our fight to the top next time. So, I will see you all there. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And if you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, y'all have yourselves a good day. See ya!